this lesson I want to give you um, some ideas uh, on uh, how to damp the guitar without any outside help like one of your buddies who's uh, holding the strings here or anything like this or without getting any help kind of dampers or being uh, one of those hair things or anything I like tying a sock to your guitar or whatever I just need to explain that I actually have one but it's not it's not attached to the strings um, I only have it for one specific case one of my songs which is um, 95% uh, tapping and in a situation where I do nothing but that I do like to get a little help but for playing licks and phrases with eight finger tapping or tapping in general I really want to avoid uh, stuff like that like any dampening and it's not like there's anything wrong with that because there's many fantastic players that I love who uses it I don't want to be forced to use one of those things um, and you know add it in a minute in the middle of a phrase so I want to be free to to play uh, some kind of lick or improvise and then just move it uh, directly into a eight finger tapping lick or seven finger tapping or whatever kind just any kind of multi finger tapping where in a normal situation you would maybe that was a situation that you were making a lot of noise but I'm um, actually uh, what I feel really helps me to avoid doing things like that is really just the precision of the fingers and then uh, um, just the general uh, thing where you damp um, for, let me give you an example for example if I play the D, uh, the G string here all this all the frets all the strings who, which is under the, the G string, in this case it would be the B and the E string, they are n naturally uh, damped by the index finger. And if I play the phrase, the other fingers would actually help as well. And the same works if I play the D string. The remaining of the strings, the D, the G, B and the E in this case would be damped. And that's, that works even if I play the, all the way down to the low E string. All the, the all the remaining of the strings are damped. Actually, you should be able to play a phrase where you, where you would do a rake all over all the strings. And you would still only hear uh, the notes that are fretted from your fretting hand. That being said, if I play something up here, then I damp. Normally, when you just play in the normal style, what you pick, you would damp that with uh, a combination what I do a lot I use my thumb a lot but also uh, a combination of the the palm here but I would I also damp here with my thumb when I play with with the pick but in case of playing uh, eight finger tapping I would not have the same uh, possibility of uh, damping as easy but it's still the same basic technique I use so um, what I do is, if I just play something that I, I, I can still use my bridge pickup uh, for this. Um, so if I just play something like this, I don't feel that there's a need for anything to damp. And uh, if I go up and use the rest of the fingers, I actually damp with my whole hand. My whole hand are, are positioned like like all, all, all over the strings, uh, so I can tap here, like here, but uh, the rest of the strings are damped from the palm actually for that. So it's the same technique even if I was playing with the pick. Also if I do such stuff like this. I don't need any dampening tool as well for stuff like that. It's still the fretting hand which is uh, dampening all this, the, the, the strings below what I play and then when I move up here I obviously can't uh, damp all the strings but actually when I do stuff like that the palm is dampening the lower strings there is a possibility of of the D string can uh, the G string can uh, make some noise but this is where uh, your technique comes in if your technique is not precise enough, if, you, if there's a chance that you hit strings and stuff like that while you're moving from, from string to string, uh, then you will make a lot of noise. But what I just did, and not to sound like a douchebag, 
but I just practiced again and again and again and adding uh, distortion while I was practicing as well to check if anything is making noise that shouldn't make noise. What I can do in extreme situations, I can put the pick uh, put the pickup up here to the uh, neck pickup instead, and that has a tendency to, to clean up a bit. I play the same phrase with the, the neck pickup. You can see that that has a tendency to clean it up a little bit. And if I keep that pickup and I decide to use all four fingers, I could even play, play a phrase where I use all four fingers on each hand. So I could play a scale, for example. And there's no need for anything to damp, I think. And um, I also really like to combine eight finger tapping with sweet picking. I don't want to be hooked on the on the uh, any dampening tool to to do stuff like that to move into a lick. Even if I um, play eight finger tapping from, for example, if I go for sweet, from sweet picking uh, into eight finger tapping, um, I even also use the the, the bridge pickup um, because it's a quick lick. If I decide to do something longer, like in the song, the Sages Recital song um, on, on the new Sages Recital album, there's a, a song where I play almost uh, um, only uh, eight finger tapping. And for a complete song like that, live for especially, and also in the rehearsal room, I, would, I, do use, um, I do use this little thing here to help clean things up because I'm, on, I'm all over the, the, the neck with not much chance to, to damp. So if you play uh, very long phrases, of course, um, um, you could do the other thing. And there's nothing wrong with using a dampening tool. I just want to give you another option as well. Yeah. 